Welcome to the Service Templates Lab Overview. In the Service Templates Lab, you'll use service templates to create basic service configurations that can be linked to a device template. Then you'll deploy the configuration to a device in the SD-WAN. Start the lab by logging into VersaDirector with the standard username and password. Once in VersaDirector, you should be in the Administration Appliances dashboard. You'll create a new template for the device by using the template workflow. New templates are created using a workflow. Navigate to the Workflows dashboard and select Template, Templates from the left side menu. The parameters in the lab guide can be used for the workflow, template, and device names, but once you become more familiar with the process, feel free to use your own naming convention. In this lab, you'll create a template within the Tenant1 organization. It will have a single controller assigned and a subscription setting. The subscription setting isn't critical as it only affects licensing and not functionality of the end device once the template is applied to a device. Be sure to assign the analytics cluster that will be used by devices that use this template. The interface assignment will include two WAN interfaces and a LAN interface. Make sure that the first WAN interface is associated to the MPLS network and the second WAN interface is associated with the INET network, which is also shown in the lab diagram. Both WAN interfaces will receive static interface addresses. Provide a network name for the LAN and select the organization to which the LAN belongs, which is the Tenant1 organization. The other fields should populate automatically. To add an addition to the configuration, you can configure split tunnels to provide direct internet access between the local LAN and the INET transport connection, although not doing so won't affect the outcome of the lab. In the Services tab, be sure to enable the NGFW services. If this step is skipped, the devices that use this template won't have access to the next generation firewall configuration parameters. To apply service templates within the workflow, click on the plus icon under the services category you want to add. If a service template is configured in the device, it will appear in the drop down menu. If it doesn't appear in the menu, you can create a service template placeholder by clicking on the plus service template link. In the example, we'll create a QoS service template. Once the blank service template is created, it can then be added to the workflow. The button to create the template is located in the final tab. So even though you aren't configuring any management server information, navigate to the management servers tab to create the workflow. And by doing so, it will create a device template. Once the template is created, you'll need to create a device that will use the template for configuration parameters. In the Workflows dashboard, devices are created under the Devices section. There are three main tabs in the Add Device dialog. The first provides basic device information such as the device name, global ID, organization, and serial number. Use the values in the lab guide for these parameters. If you are creating a new device, be sure that the name of the device is unique and hasn't been used in a previous lab task. The device group links the device to a template. If a device group isn't already created to link your device to the template you just created, click the plus device group link and create a new device group. Create a device group that is linked to your new template and assign the device to the device group. The location tab requires at least a country code. Click the get coordinates button to retrieve the coordinates of the location you enter. Enter the bind data based on the information in the lab diagrams and tables. Then deploy the device. Open an SSH session to your device and run the staging script as specified in the lab guide. If required, enter the CLI and erase the running configuration prior to running the deployment script. Be sure you enter the correct serial number for the device in the script parameter. The QoS service template created in the workflow process is a blank service template, which means that the template exists but hasn't had any parameters configured. To configure the parameters within the service template, navigate to the Configuration Templates Service Templates hierarchy. Click the link to the QoS service template to edit its properties. The first thing you should note is that the service template only contains parameters specific to the service template type. For our example, we'll configure QoS profiles, app QoS policies, schedulers, and scheduler maps, and associate the parameters with the WAN interfaces. 
In-depth details on how to configure the parameters are part of the Versa Network's SD-WAN administration course, but the lab will guide you through this process for this lab. You'll start by creating two QoS profiles which will be mapped to a specific forwarding class and outbound queue. You'll then create two app QoS policies that will identify traffic that enters the device and associate it with one of the forwarding profiles. You'll create four schedulers which define how frequently queues for each major traffic class are serviced. You'll then create a scheduler map which will bundle the four schedulers into a group that will be associated with the WAN interfaces. Because service templates aren't device specific, you'll need to go into the bind data of your device to configure to which local interfaces the parameters will be applied. Once finished, you'll commit the template to your device and verify that the service template parameters are applied using VersaDirector and the CLI. You'll then create a clone of the existing service template, modify one of the parameters, and change the service template association in the device template. You'll have to reapply the bind data before recommitting the template. After committing the template change, you'll verify that changing the service template association properly modified the device configuration parameters. Once the QoS parameters are verified, you'll create a simple security service template, but this time you'll configure it through the service template dashboard and associate it with an existing template without using the workflows. You'll then verify your security policy was applied to the device.